Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, now today, paint work starts. I wanna paint all of the bodywork on this bike. This big black side panel, I wanna paint that a totally different color and we'll come to that later, but all of the rest of it, I wanna deal with first. All of this black and white stuff, this rather quirky looking mudguard, all of this is just injection molded plastic in color. It's not painted at all, it's just colored plastic and it looks really cheap. I wanna get some paint on it with this white, I wanna paint it white but with a nice pearl in it. Same with the black, I wanna paint it black with a little bit of flake in it so it's just got a nicer look to it and it makes the bike look nicer front to back and of course these side panels, as I said, they will be a completely different color. But look, it's a long process, it's gonna take two visits to the paint shop to do this. I wanna blow the color all in one go but the black and white will do that tomorrow. So today is a big old task. I've gotta strip off all these peripheral bits of bodywork, get them all out of the way, clean them up and get them scuffed and prepared for the paint shop so I can blow paint in the morning. All right, if you're gonna do this sort of thing yourself, here's a little habit you can get into. Put your fasteners back into the empty holes they came from. Now, there are 14 fasteners held those three pieces of plastic on the headlight and they sell. 14, and there's the rest of the bike to do yet. So I like to put the fasteners back in the empty holes I took them out of. You can put them in little plastic bags and label them up, that works, but it's a little bit more long-winded. I like to just chuck them back in their holes. That way, in the future, when you come to put everything back together a couple of weeks down the line, not only have you not lost any, but also you know which ones go in which holes. Really handy. Okay, 
Something that might help you if you're gonna take large panels off your motorcycle, if you've never done it before, is first of all, get to know where the screws are. It doesn't matter whether it's a Husqvarna or a big side panel on a Hayabusa or the Batwing fairing on a Harley Davidson Street Glide, it doesn't matter. Big plastic panels are held on by little tabs of plastic with screws through them. And the tabs are held down tight by the screw. So the first trick is get to know where all the screws are, because it's the screw you don't know about up underneath somewhere, that's the one you'll snap the tab off because you didn't know it was there. Once you know where they all are, I like to loosen them. Just give them one turn of the screw, loosen them all off. That way the panel itself can move about a little bit. And as you start to take the screws out and the panel itself starts to come free, that movement doesn't snap the last tab off because it's still held tight. If you loosen it, that last tab can move around and you don't snap the tabs off your bodywork and have to plastic weld them back on again. Hope that helps. Right, okay, SOP with bodywork, cleaning before sanding, if you're gonna do this yourself, and meticulous cleaning as well, because on your bodywork, over the course of time, it accumulates all kinds of filth, road salt, traffic film, grease, all sorts of stuff, and if you start sanding it before you've cleaned all that off, you're gonna grind it into the surface of the material. You're making scratches deliberately for the paint to stick to, and those scratches will get filled up with that road grime, and it will stay there. And the minute you start painting, that will pop out and surprise you, giving you a chemical reaction and trashing your paint job. So make sure you clean it before you even go near it with a scuff pad. The other thing with this particular body work, it's got casting flash lines all the way around the outside of it, every bit of it. So I'm gonna stroke those off with a blade, just get rid of it, and then I get it scuffed up properly, ready for the paint shop, 
tomorrow. Right, now this body work's being done in two halves. I've booked out two separate days at the paint shop. The main panels are gonna do a completely unique color. I wanna focus on them all by themselves with no distractions. So I'll leave those till next week. But the rest of it, the black and the white, it's all ready to go, stripped, cleaned and scuffed, ready for the paint shop tomorrow. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll see how it comes out.